Hello, everybody. This is Michael. In this video, we will talk about the measure minimum gap width and drill hole in the CAM 350. Okay. So this is uh, uh, CAM 350. The first thing is we import our global file. Okay, this is our global file. We click next. We click next. So uh, this is the file which we need. We now need this one. We so click remove this one. So this is the drill layer. And uh, if you uh, if you can setting the NC data format here. Okay. Notice one thing. We need match our design okay so these two these two number need to match our design click ok and then finish okay it's loading so uh so this is a ball so what we need to check let's say is top layer so we double click this layer and uh, uh, we can zoom in and uh, then the first things we do the minimum gaps click the analysis so click here minimum gaps so it will show this um, setting like this and it will find the gaps less than this one this meal and you can setting the different uh, unit setting so this is the different unit so this is millimeter okay and this is a meal so whatever you want so click OK uh, if we setting this one is millimeter let's take a look click OK and uh, so analysis and click this minimum gaps so it will show the um, gaps less than this this size will find it okay we setting like this and uh, then uh, we can set straight or golf we can click both of them or we can click just uh, one of them uh, let's click uh, both of them to see what will happen and then we click OK uh, it will find some gaps click OK so it's here then we click the next view click the next view and we click here minimum width okay minimum width so the minimum one will be on the top of it okay so this is a golf click here click here click here this is a golf and if we setting uh, we setting the gaps just straight just straight click OK and it find something and click OK here and click next so click the minimum width click this position so you will see it will uh, justify the straight one and no golf okay we will see is here is the distance between different part so this part and this part we are not connected together okay so this is uh, so this is uh, uh, width for uh, this is a uh, minimum this is a uh, minimum gaps and then let's take a look at the width okay let's take a look at the width so it shows like this and uh, uh, let's change the setting unit as uh, meals click OK this one we can remove it analysis width okay so this is 20 mil okay search for neck and spike okay 
Click OK. OK, click. So, s s same. We click here and click the minimum width. So, click this position. So, you can find the uh, minimum position where it is. OK, click here. So, it's here. Uh, in this trace, you will see it, la it labeled here. Take a look. Uh, in this trace, it labeled like this shape. Okay, we zoom in. It labeled like this shape. Take a look. So it's labeled like this shape. Okay. You will see is this okay? Is this shape? Is this position? Okay, so this is the gap. Is the gap and the width? How about the drill hole? Uh, gap, width, and how about the drill hole? The minimum drill hole. So we can uh, take a look here. Table, NC tool table. Hmm size so you will see uh, the minimum drill size is this one okay so is this one so this is our minimum drill size you also you also can uh, get the information from here so this is a drill tool drill tool so this size uh, you can uh, align it. So this is the minimum drill size. Okay. So where we find the drill hole? So this is the drill layer, and uh, we show it, and we uh, hide this layer. So this is uh, this is the minimum drill drill hole. So how we uh, we zoom it in zoom it in first and we can check the information so use this one and this one and make sure the object snap is select and the green snap is deselect okay and then we click here and you will see it use the drill tool is is 12 okay is 12 so this is a minimum drill hole size okay okay so we can uh, zoom in zoom out okay so um show it show it so this is uh, um this is the measure the minimum gap width and drill hole uh, why we need to do these things we need to match our uh, pcb factory requirement so we need to check our pcb board to to double check this parameter uh, in order to uh, in order that pcb factory can make can make our pcb board okay okay Okay, so this is this video. I'm Michael, and see you next time.